What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to find interior and exterior angles and we're going to do that using some angle sum formulas. All right so let's start with this problem right here. So we have a couple unknowns right we have x degrees right here and y degrees up here. Okay now one easy way we can solve for one of these is this x degrees right. So as you can see this is a supplementary angle with this 110 degrees. So both of these, right, since they're along a straight line, intersected by another line right here, that means they're equal to 180 degrees. So if this is 110, that means x must be equal to 70 degrees. All right, cool. So we found uh, a, an easy one right off the bat. Now, how can we find y? Well, for that, we're going to have to use an angle sum formula. So we're going to say that the sum of all the interior angles is equal to n minus 2 times 180. Okay, so when you add up all the interior angles inside any polygon, it's going to be equal to n minus 2 times 180, where n is equal to the number of sides. So this trapezoid has four sides, so n is going to be equal to 4. Okay, so let's start with this part right here, the sum of the interior angles. Let's add up all the interior angles. So that's going to be y plus 100, right? y plus 100 plus this one that we found 70 plus 87. So that's going to be equal to n minus 2, so 4, right, minus 2 times 180. Now if we add up these three numbers right here, 170 and 87, that's equal to 257. So then we're going to have y plus 257 is equal to uh, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2, and then 2 times 180 is equal to 360. All right, so to solve for y here, we'll subtract 257 from both sides. So then we get that y is equal to 103 degrees. All right, so that's the angle for y. All right, now for this problem, you can see we basically have a triangle, and it also gives us some exterior angles, right, which are unknown, and all the interior angles are also unknown. All right, so one way that we can uh, set this problem up first is starting with the exterior angles, okay? So as you can see, this one is z minus 13 degrees, this one's just z, and this one's z plus 10. Now, the thing about exterior angles is when you add them all up, they're always equal to 360 degrees, right? So if we add up these three z terms, we could just set them equal to 360. So let's start with this one right here. So we have z plus uh, z minus 13, right? z minus 13 in parentheses, and then plus uh, z plus 10. z plus 10. And again, that's equal to 360. Now, since we have all the same variables over here, we can actually just drop them since we're just adding and subtracting here. So we could just say z plus z minus 13 plus z plus 10 is equal to 360, okay? Now we can start combining like terms. So here, let's see, we have z plus z plus z. So three z's is equal to three z. And then here we have minus 13 uh, plus 10. So negative 13 plus 10 is equal to negative 3. So minus 3. And again, that's equal to 360. So then here we could just add 3 to both sides. So we get that 3z is equal to 363. Divide both sides by 3. So then here we get that z is equal to uh, 121 degrees. Okay, and I'm going to rewrite it over here just to make some room. So we know that z is equal to 121, and I'm going to delete this stuff just to make some room for the rest of our work. All right, so z, so that means this angle over here, since it's just z, this is equal to 121 degrees. Uh, this one is z plus 10, so 121 plus 10 is equal to 131 degrees. And then this one is uh, 121 minus 13, and that's equal to 108 degrees. Okay, now we can solve for the interior angles in kind of a simpler way by just using supplementary angles again, right? So if this is 108 degrees, and both of these combined are 180 degrees, that means W 
must be equal to 72 degrees. Okay, same thing over here with y. This is a supplementary angle with this uh, 131 degrees. So that means y must be equal to 49 degrees. Okay, and then lastly, with these two supplementary angles, uh, this is 121. So then that means x must be equal to 59 degrees. Okay, so I guess I didn't have to actually delete anything over here. But in any case, there are all your answers. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.